What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're focusing on the St. Louis Blues bringing in Wade Redden on a one-year, eight hundred thousand dollar deal. I like it. You know, Redden obviously hasn't played an NHL game in almost three years, but I think he can definitely help out in a bottom pairing defense role. I mean, this is a guy that was one of the most sought-after free agents after the two thousand eight season in a class that included Marion Hossa and uh, you know some other pretty big name free agents. But you know, I, I think Redden will be. Um, you know, a, you, you can't expect him to change. You know, a lot of things, but I think he's going to contribute. And, you know, on an $800,000 deal, you really can't go wrong. And if you send up the AHL, it's not like he hasn't been there before. But I think it was a good depth move. I know LA was in on him. Um, one thing I think it was Pierre LeBron just tweeted was um, when he was a free agent in 2008, Hitchcock wanted him badly in Columbus. Didn't happen. He went with the Rangers, and you know, that disaster happened. But uh, now that they're together in St. Louis, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good move. I mean, he, he's. You know, he's not the worst player in pro hockey. So, I mean, like, he's... You can do a lot worse. I mean, he's going to be 36, 37 in, uh, over the summer. But, I mean, he's, he can still help you. He's not the... He's... In a bottom pairing, he's fine. It's just when he's making $6 million a year, uh, that's when it was a negative thing. But I think the Rangers made the right move in ridding him of the organization. It was a mistake signing. I think Glenn stayed there. Um, F up, for lack of a better phrase, but I mean, he had 42 points two years ago in the minors, had 20 points 49 games last year, and I mean, his career high points in the NHL is 50, I don't think he'll come anywhere near that, but, you know, if he can help your, you know, if he can give you, you know, 10, 15 points in a 48 game season, you know, take some pressure off, uh, Peter Angelo, and, uh, Shaq Kirk, all those guys, he, he can definitely be, be worth his, um, contract, I mean, 800 grand is not going to kill you. It's a league minimum, pretty much. And I think Gomez will help a team, too. I think it's it's one of those things where I think both sides benefit. Um, I think all three sides, the Rangers, St. Louis, and Redden, all um, all went out in this. Rangers get him out of the organization. Redden gets out of that organization. St. Louis gets a you know pretty good defense from it. I mean, you know, like I said, it's not so much. It's he, I, I think had they put him on re-entry waiver, someone would have picked him up for $3 million last year. I really do, I think, because he's... He can help you. Defensemen are at a premium. Veteran defensemen that ex have experience, that have played in Stanley Cup Finals, that have gone on extended playoff runs before, are uh, hard to come by. And you can find one. Well, good on you. And uh, I think Redden will be a welcome addition to St. Louis Blues. I think he'll fit uh, Hitchcock's system perfectly. And I think uh, St. Louis, you know, he doesn't put them over the top, but I think they're definitely, because they're a young team um, with young legs in a shortened season, they'll be a team to watch during the uh, condensed season. They'll definitely be. Um, one of the elite teams in the Western Conference as they were last year. Anyway, that's all. This episode of the Power Play with CJ on the St. Louis Blues bringing in Wade Redden. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.